Project management is another area that BillQuick offers, which didn't need to be offered. There's a lot of solutions out there that deal simply with time and expense tracking, and one that does that well, such as BillQuick does, would be more than enough for many people to use a product like this. The fact that BillQuick adds the project management aspects, in my opinion, is what makes BillQuick a product that's heads and shoulders above the rest in terms of anything else you might be considering. And I'm not saying this to sell you on the product. I'm saying this to share with you my experience and what I believe you're about to experience as I show you the project management aspects of BillQuick and what it has to offer there. A lot of times over the years, people have come to me and asked me questions about looking for a product that, for example, will let you manage your resources. And what do I mean by that specifically? Let's say I've got a team of people who are working on a project. And I need to be able to manage two important things when it comes to managing any project. I need to manage the timelines, and I need to make sure that I'm on budget in terms of any expenses that I've built in. As soon as I go over my hours, my projected hours in terms of labor, I'm eating into my profits and I'm eating into them very quickly. So it's a situation like that that can quickly take a profitable project and turn it into a loss project. And that's obviously something we not only want to avoid, we want to make sure we're as profitable as can be. Going over on the expenses obviously raises the same concern. If I've budgeted so much in expenses for a project, I don't want to go over. So I need a system in place that lets me track and manage the budgeted against the actuals very specifically and on a very detailed level. And when it comes to managing resources, I need to know which of my employees are being overburdened with work and which employees might have room in their schedule in order to be able to take on more work so that I can allocate my resources efficiently and make sure that I can stay under budget, meet my deadlines in terms of the timeline, and make sure that that project stays profitable. You're going to see in a minute how BillQuick lets you do this very specifically. What do you call a project? Do you call it a project? Maybe you call it a job, an engagement. If you're an attorney, you might call it a case or a matter. Maybe you call it a plan, a program, an enterprise, an undertaking, a venture. The point is that whatever you call a project, it'd be, it should be nice if you can use that nomenclature, whatever nomenclature you're accustomed to using when you discuss these projects in your office, you want to be able to incorporate that into your accounting software so that it's familiar. So when I hire people and certain people have roles that require that they be in front of the computer and at the accounting software, they don't have to stop and think. They can go right to the area where it says, for example, engagement because I'm running an accounting firm and when I bill a client I'm billing them for the work that was done on an engagement right accounting firms send out an engagement letter so accounting firms very often are accustomed to calling their projects engagements so it's little details like this that make Bill Quick uh, so much better than anything else out there that even claims to do what Bill Quick does as far as being able to do your billing and time and expense tracking and all those accounting functions that we need to be able to do around our projects. And in the previous section, you saw how we gather that information, how we gather the time and expenses that are incurred in connection with the projects that we work on in our firms. So now we're going to take a look at how to manage those projects. And the first thing I wanted to talk about is something that it's, again, it's one of those things that I think just makes, it's, it's those little things that make a big difference in terms of the experience for the user. So that when I have a new hire and they're looking for something and they're looking for an engagement, you know, to go to see where the engagements are that we're working on, they don't get sort of stumbled on, you know, seeing something called a job or a project or something else. So how do we do that? In Build Quick, if you go into the settings, we can actually go into custom labels right here. And in the custom labels area, I can go to where I have, as you can see, there's a lot of things you can customize here, but we're focusing on the project. So right down here where we see project, you'll see that I've got the uh, label here set for engagement. And you can put absolutely anything you want in there. You can call it mud. And if I call it mud and I choose save, notice up here it now says mud. And I can go to the mud information and the mud center. So down here, I can say whatever I want it to say. I can call it a matter if I'm doing this for a law firm. And I can click save. And then I have matter information in the matter center. So Bill Cook is very smart this way. It really lets me customize this to work based on my firm and, and, and how I do things. 
Uh, and again, it's those little things that do matter. You might think it's not important, but as I point out in the written portion of the lesson, here's an example. You, you know, you, I have a new hire who's in the software and nobody bothered to tell them, oh, by the way, we call it engagements because we're a CPA firm, but in the software, it's just called a job. And they're looking around for engagements. And then they have to stop and ask somebody else, hey, where do I go to find engagements? Now you've got two people's time who are being taken up over a simple little thing that's easily resolved by simply having a feature like this, like Bill Quick has provided for us. So we're going to, you know, once you've established what you want to call your project, then of course you're gonna to wanna to become familiar with this whole area here, which is, as you can see, termed after what you call a project. And in here is where you're gonna manage everything having to do with your projects or your engagement or your job or your matter or whatever you call it. So we're gonna get in here to the engagement information, the engagement center. And in the next lesson, we're going to start taking a look at, uh, you know, the customers and the projects that we do or the engagements. I'm going to keep this focused because I think most of our audience here at schoolofbookkeeping.com are accounting and bookkeeping professionals. So I'm going to keep this uh, focused on the accounting nomenclature. So we're going to call them engagements. And that's what we're going to look at. We're going to look at uh, how the customers and the engagements sort of tie in because you, you don't have an engagement to work on if you don't have a customer who's hired you to work on it. So there's the tie-in right there. And we're going to be able to go see, I have them called clients here. And that's another thing we can change the nomenclature on. If we call them clients, great. If we want to call them something else, we can. It's in the same exact area in the uh, custom labels here where you can go and change what we call a client. And in the same exact manner, I can go to label and I can call the client anything I want to call it. Uh, and so have some fun with it. Uh, I did one video on the Bill Quick blog a while back where I called clients dirt bags, and then we had the dirt bag center, and it was kind of funny. Anyway, that's what we're going to look at in the next lesson, but play around with uh, getting into the uh, custom labels here because it's really going to make a difference, and I think it's important right at the outset to start doing stuff like this to really tailor the experience for the users and for the people at your firm who are going to end up using this so that everything's familiar, and that's going to make the whole workflow and process around that much, much easier. If you have any questions, of course, uh, use the answers forum at schoolofbookkeeping.com right here. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next lesson.